Here we go. It's Saturday. Well, I'm not going to be doing anything outside today, so let's borrow some beer. So it's been three weeks in the fermenter. All right, let's see what we got. There she is, all ready to go. There's what, 21 liters in there. Okay, so here's a few things we need. These are our carbonation drops. So what we do is put a couple of those in each bottle and that gives it that uh, carbonation that we need. So it's gonna be in, in our bottles for a couple of weeks before we can uh, drink those beers. But here's a few things we use too. This is a no rinse sanitizer. Okay, to keep everything clean. That's uh, the sterilizer we got there. And here's a bottle wash uh, a detergent. So we need to use this first. That's what I use the bottle wash um, and a sterilizer. And then finally, no rinse. So I'll do all these bottles. Here's a few. We've got going here. Um, we've got a box of about 25 ready to go. And these ones, we've got 10 here. It'll just uh, look at that. Turn up a um, an old dish rack, put it upside down. Doing it Puerto Rican style today. Look at that. They sit in there perfectly. They're just raining off. They've all been sterilised. So the next step is we uh, get everything going ready for the bottling. All right. So we got the tap connected there. I got a little bucket under there just to catch any drips. So I've poured just a little bit out over the, uh, the bottom there just to get a bit of a look and give this a little taste. Okay. All right so now we got around about 25 bottles to make so let's rock. Just before we bottle and have a look there, so you see all this stuff underneath here. That's all the yeast. It comes, like, works its way down to the bottom. Uh, so it's completely normal to see that. You still might have little tiny bits on top, which isn't too bad either. But it's been three weeks, so this is ready to go. So, just got to get the right balance so it pours well. So we're gonna make, I guess we're gonna get 20 something bottles done here. See a little bit of carbonation already in the, so we stop about there. All right, well, look at that. Okay, so next step, let's carbonate this bad boy. All right, so these are the carbonation drops. One. Put two. Okay, and it's a bit hard to do this while I'm holding the bloody phone, but that's what we're going to do about 25 times now. So we can see how close I am to the top there. That's about as high up as you want to go. Just leave a little bit of room in there, drop in your carbonation drops, and just give it that little bit of extra room in the top there. <laughs> Could have got to maybe 27 bottles but that's all right got the 25 so we're gonna leave these for about two weeks now and uh, they should be ready to then cool and we'll be able to drink a few beers so i might do a video do a tasting video once uh, these are ready to go so we're going to put these now in a box i'll probably end up just putting them in back in the box that i bought them from and they'll be sitting in uh Spare room, covered up for about two weeks. All right, so as you can see, there's not a whole lot of excitement in the bottling process. It's just repetitive. You know, you, you fill your bottle almost to the top, say 90% full, put in a couple of uh, carbonation drops, and then put the caps on and 
you're waiting a couple of weeks and we'll be ready to drink those beers. Thanks to everybody who's uh, subscribed over the last sort of three weeks. We've got um, around about 80 followers now, so that's good. So building it up slowly, but uh, I think the hardest part is trying to find content at the moment. You now with lockdown on, there's not a whole lot you can go out and record other than you're walking around the streets. So, um, you know, hopefully be back in the Philippines maybe by the end of the year. I don't know. Who knows with the lockdown? I want to get back there and I'll certainly be doing some videos over there to put on the channel. But until then, you know, all we can do is just wait. You know, maybe a month we'll be pretty much back to normal life, I think. Well, maybe not the travelling part of things, but uh, as far as around home, around your town, that should be pretty normal. So until then, you know, grab a home brew, grab a beer down the bottle If you're in the Philippines, grab a Sammy Light or a Red Horse if you can. I don't even still get alcohol at the moment. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, you renegades. I will see you again soon. I'll find something to record and put up anyway. So peace.